Okay, so it's Clay here, and I'm uh, bringing you a spriting tutorial. Uh, Pokemon spriting tutorial. Um, now, I've been looking around YouTube and stuff, and I've seen some people who aren't very good at spriting. But, um, and then they, they make custom sprites, and then they either don't, have a good light source, like the lights all over the place, or you know, it, it just turns out really crazy and weird looking, like a little blob with a face. So, um, I'm gonna teach you how to make Pokemon sprites today. Now, you could use Photoshop or pretty much anything, but I'm gonna use paint right now. And so, first things first, you're gonna go. And set the size of your canvas to 80 by 80 for a diamond and pearl size Pokemon sprite. Then you're going to just zoom in the whole way. And then take some color. I'm just going to use green beacon. It's pretty much any other color except for black. And um, just kind of draw a shape here. So I think, well first things first, you need an idea. Which... I kind of forgot about, but, um, so, I'm just gonna make a bat. And, yes, this will look a little bit like go bat, but, you know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> okay, so, you just draw the really basic shape, you don't put in any details or anything. I'm going to give it a bit of a weird kind of tail thing. Alright. So I did this with my tablet. Um, you don't really need a tablet. You could do it with your mouse. But I like to use my tablet just because it's neater for me. Alright, so now you're just going to go in and take your black with your pencil tool. And I'm going to use a mouse for that, for this part. And then you're just gonna kind of go in the out, uh, around this outline and just draw in the shape. Now remember, Pokemon, they have a one pixel outline, so you can't like do that because see those pixels overlapping. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna draw around the shape. Making a better outline. And I'm going to try to do my best to make this tutorial as easy to follow as possible. But it's not very good, or it's not very easy thing to do to make a spider tutorial. Now, um, I want to point something out. Whenever you're doing, like, limbs, like a tail or arms or something, it's okay to have them overlap there to show that it's like behind something. So we're just gonna I'm gonna show you how to show that a little bit better. Once I'm done here. Actually I'm gonna pause here. Okay. So I'm finished with this and I'm not gonna lie and say that this took me twenty seconds to draw this outline and make it look good. Um it actually took me about five minutes. So you gotta remember before you're gonna make this break. It takes some time, so don't just like rush or else it won't look good. But anyway, so now we want to get rid of this green. And instead of going in here and penciling out every little pixel of green, all you got to do is take your eraser tool, make sure your second color is white, so you can just right click white up here, and your first color is whatever color you used for that very first outline. Just left click it. And then you hold down the right button and then just go over your sprite and it will erase only that green or whatever color you used. So there we go. Alright. See, there's our sprite. <coughs> but it's very plain and you know it doesn't have any details or anything. So I'm just gonna go in here, add a little thing right there for the ear. And I'm gonna add a mouth. And this is starting to look a lot like a ghoul bat. Wait. 
and don't ask me to like, how to draw certain shapes or anything. I just kind of guess and hope I get it right. Okay. So some things draw strong in. I'm not gonna give it eyes because I don't know. I don't think fetch really have eyes that have a purpose. So I'm not gonna give it eyes. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm clearing my throat a lot in this video. I'm kind of sick. So. so I'm just going to drag this out a little bit. There's our sprite. Now we got to make a color palette. Now I'm going to make my bat black. Um, so I'm just going to take three shades of black is usually the amount of black you have on a Pokemon sprite. So I'm just going to pause here while I get my color palette. Okay, so I got my color palette, three shades for black, three shades of red for the mouth, and then the white would go right here, it's a little white circle, that's for the teeth, and then that's the second color, you only need two colors for like, teeth and stuff. So I'm just going to color in, right here, where the shadow would be, in that darker color on the teeth, and then I'm just going to go in here, and just in right there, that little piece for that. Okay, so now I'm going to color all of this in that really dark red, and then the tongue in that. I'm going to take this, and where the shadow would be, I'm just going to put it in there with its color. And also don't ask me how to get the shadow to look good, I really don't know. Again, I just kind of guess. Now you actually probably are going to need a fourth color of red, so I'm not going to make that on the palette. And then you just go around here on the outline. Okay. So, now I'm just going to take this black and color all of this in. And now I'm going to take this black and then where I would think the light would be coming from, which it's usually up here if it's a Pokemon sprite, so it's off left. I'm just going to kind of draw it in like a little rounded thing right there. I'm going to color that in. And then right here. And over here. Now I'm gonna take this color, color it in a bit like that, and there we go. So now you can tell where the light's coming from. You don't want to just make random spots of the lighter color, um, because then it just will look really sloppy, and it, it won't work out for it. I'm just gonna add a little bit more shading here in the mouth. Oops. And there we go. So now we're going to take our darkest black. And then we're just going to color in where the shadows would be. Like where it would be the darkest. And then this is how you show whenever something is behind something, you put a shadow in there. And then you could go a little bit fancy with the shading and do that. Okay. And then I'm just going to put a little shadow right here. Because I think it's a bit cool. Alright, there we go. So there we have it, there is our sprite. Now, I've rushed on this, so it doesn't look all that great. 
it, black probably wasn't the best color to use because there's some more stuff that you need to learn. But that was just like a very basic spreading tutorial. So I hope you liked it. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will have some more tutorials for you soon, including some more advanced spreading tutorials. So, yeah. Till next time. See ya.